Hey, what's up guys? This is Guru from TechZ India and today I have uh, one of the most anticipated devices from Sony uh, here released in India and it is none other than the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. This is um, a phone which has come into a category which is defined by Sony right now. There is no other smartphone which is as big as this and uh, this smartphone has a 1080p display um, which Sony calls triluminous display which increases the saturation, contrast and brightness and brings life to pictures as what Sony um, advertises for this phone. Um, this is a quick hands-on uh, video of this beautiful device. Um, the first impressions as soon as I hold this device is it's very very big and the device itself feels very light in the hand so um, you one might expect this device to be very heavy but um, it's it's actually lighter than the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 that has come last year from Samsung so also a point to be noted that this is one of the first devices to run um, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 800 processor which is clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and um, let me uh, run you through what uh, we have on this phone. On towards the side of the uh, phone, we have uh, the 3.5 mm jack, uh, a power button which is placed um, at the center of the device, and um, you have the volume rockers. And towards the back of the device, you have uh, the 8 megapixel camera uh, that comes um, without a flash. So, this is one uh, thing which Sony hasn't put. So um, and the Xperia branding you have on the bottom of the device. When you turn this device off, it's only glass. It's absolutely beautiful front, from the front. It does not have any physical buttons on the front. And the front and the back of the device are made of glass. It's, it, the design language is um, very similar to that of Xperia Z that has come from Sony, which was the flagship device um, before this one, of course. So. Let me just play you. Oh, this is. There's also one more thing that I want um, to let you guys know. This is one of the only devices that naturally turns into lands landscape mode. Um, you do not require any third-party applications to use this device in the landscape mode. As you can see, the menu and the home screens uh, rotate themselves uh, when you turn the device or when you flip the device into landscape mode. Let me just uh, play you one of the videos to show how good or how beautiful this device is. This is a video that comes pre phone. Really sorry. It's been tough recording as well as using the phone. So, as you can see here, the triluminous display shows a lot of contrast. Even though this is not an AMOLED display or a super AMOLED display as that of Samsung. Um, this has very deep blacks and beautiful whites. As you can see, the display renders uh, the video very well. The video just looks incredible. I'm not sure whom the uh, whom Sony is targeting with this device. I don't. But this has opened the gates for six and uh, six and a half inches screen displays to come. So I would have owned this device if at all it had one of the main drawbacks, which I feel for this device is an LED flash, which this device lacks. Um, this actually can fit into your pocket, but not comfortably. You can use this device as your tablet, phablet, whatever you want to call it. So the specifications of, the, of this device goes so forth. Um, the specifications are you have 1080p pixels or 1080 pixels horizontally and 1920 pixels vertically. And this device stretches at 6.44 inches diagonally so this is the largest display out there this device also comes with 4.2 jelly bean I'm gonna show you the same 
So as you can see here, um, it's 4.2 jelly bean. We would have loved if we had uh, 4.3 out of the box. Nevertheless, it's jelly bean. And the user interface of this device is incredibly good. I, I kind of like Sony's user interface. It is unlike what Sony used to have uh, in their previous user interface called Timescape. Uh, this is very close to stock Jelly Bean. So you can see that um, you have three capacitive buttons and uh, it looks neat. Let me show you the keyboard that comes with this device. It's also stock keyboard. You have the swipe gesture. So, um, lastly, I would like to demo the camera. So you can see here, uh, you can make use of the, you can u make use of the beautiful uh, full HD screen here. Even though this does not have a flash, it 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 kind of captures beautiful images. This is right now set into superior auto mode, which Sony calls the intelligent mode because it understands the situation and scenario and adjusts properly. So, for example, if you are focusing on an object which is very close, it would turn automatically into macro mode. If not, it would go into the normal mode. So. And so, and that's about it, guys. Uh, this was hands-on the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. I shouldn't say small, big hands-on. It's a very big device. So, stay tuned to Tech Z India, and uh, we would be reviewing this device soon. And uh, Stay tuned to Tech India for all the latest and greatest news from the world of technology. This is Guru signing off.